Shalom brothers and sisters. On the weekend, I was driving home and on the way home, um, out and about Bibles and doing the thing, um, I saw this beautiful sunflower by the neighbor's front yard as I drove past their house. And I love flowers and taking photos of flowers and I really love sunflowers. They're amazing, gorgeous. And uh, when you don't plant them on a farm with the proper seeds and everything, and we plant them from bird seed and those kind of things, they're a little bit weird. They don't just have one head, they have multiple heads. They're really such beautiful, strange things, a peculiar <laughs> flower that's just gorgeous and large. So I go into the house, I say to my wife, come my darling, let's go. Let's go look at this flower, walk with me. So we walk down the road. We get to the guy's yard and we see the sunflower. Beautiful. Take photos. I'm going to post a few of those here. And I'm doing this and I'm having a close look at it and everything. And we look behind it. The whole wall is covered by a Grenadella creeper. It's covered the whole wall and down into the bed. And as we step backwards, my wife says, look at the bottom. And I say, what? And she shows me the sunflower at some stage had fallen down because of the weight of its head and it was going to be finished. The Grenadella creeper had reached out, grabbed the stalk tightly and pulled it back up into the right position. And now the sunflower's base has got a loop like this from when it was lying down to where it's been pulled up and the creeper is holding it tightly so that it can have its head towards the sky. The one plant is helping the other be all it can be. And that was just beautiful for me to see that, that my wife saw this amazing thing that we've never seen in nature. So I took photos of that too. I will post that here too and let you enjoy this with us. And what it does for me is it takes me straight to the Bible. And if we start in Exodus, I, I love mentioning this piece regularly. In Exodus chapter 17, I'm going to read to you verse 11 to 13. It says, And so it was when Moses held up his hand that Israel prevailed. And when he let down his hand, Amalek prevailed. But Moses' hands became heavy. So they took a stone and put it under him and he sat on it. And Aaron and Hur supported his hands one on one side and the other on the other side. And his hands were steady until the going down of the sun. So Joshua defeated Amalek and his people with the edge of the sword. So Israel's at war with the Amalekites. And every time Moses' hands dip, the Amalekites start winning. But when his hands are up, they lose. So those nearest him, Come and support him to hold his hands up so that they can win. And for me, it's such a beautiful picture of, especially now where we are in this time and so close to the end of our race. You can see our fellow brothers and sisters that are struggling. You can see them battling with all sorts of situations. You can see them reaching the end of their reserves and tired, letting their hands droop and stopping their run. This is where we can come alongside them and help. And it doesn't always mean financially or with goods. It means with prayer and support and encouragement and just doing what we can. Kindness. And in every other way that you can, help lift those hands. And if you want a better <clears throat> sorry, description of that, Hebrews 10 verse 24 to 26 says, and let us consider one another in order to stir up love and good works, not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together as in the manner of some, but exhorting one another and so much the more as you see the day approaching. Exhort one another and so much more. Stir up those love and those good works that we do as to the Lord. 
When you visited someone in prison, it was as if you visited Christ in prison. When you fed someone that was poor and hungry, it was as if you fed Christ. You're doing these things out of love. It's a natural outspring of works from the fruit that is your growth in Jesus Christ. And we encourage one another. We strengthen one another. We lift each other's hands up. And we cross the finish line together. Not alone. God bless you. And shalom. This is this plant, which looks like a granadella plant, holding up the sunflower.